Hi, so identity we are going to learn today is A minus B whole square, right? So first let me take a line whose length is A. So I'm going to take a line. Let's assume that its length is equal to A. So this is a line whose length is A, right? And this will be A square, right? But what we have to find? We have to find A minus B whole square. So let me mark a point in this line somewhere here in such a way that this much is B. So if this much is B, this much will be A minus B, right? And let's not forget this whole length was equal to A, right? Yes. So what we have to find? We have to find A minus B square. So to find the A minus B square, I'm going to make a square of length A minus B. So again, I'm going to take yellow color and let me make a square of A minus B. Yes. So this is a square which I was talking about. This is a square whose one dimension is A minus B. This much is A minus B. Since the bigger square is of the dimension A by A, the remaining will be B right and the area of this yellow square will be a minus b whole square right and what will be the area of the bigger square the area of the bigger square will be a square right and what can we say about this a minus b square a minus b square is actually equal to the area of the bigger square which is a square minus this area right this area isn't it? So if somehow we are able to find the area of this L-shaped figure and remove that much area from A square, we'll get A minus B whole square. So let's try and do it. So to find the area of this L-shaped figure, I'm going to do certain constructions. First, I'm going to draw a line from this point till this line. So what we get? If you see properly, this is a rectangle whose dimensions are B by A, right? This, this is a rectangle whose width is B and its length is equal to A. Isn't it? So what will be its area? Its area will be A multiplied by B, right? The area of the rectangle is length by breadth. So the area of this orange rectangle will be A multiplied by B, right? And then we have one more rectangle over here, which I'm going to color in purple. This is a rectangle whose one side is equal to B and its length is actually equal to A minus B. This whole was equal to A and this much is B. So the remaining is A minus B. So the area of this rectangle will be B multiplied by A minus B, right? So, if from the bigger square, I remove this area and this area, we will get the area of the square whose one side is equal to A minus B, right? As you can see, I have written A square and then we have to subtract this area that is minus AB, right? And then we have to subtract this area also that is minus B multiplied by A minus B, right? And to simplify this, let me open this bracket. Let me multiply this minus B inside the bracket. So we will get this A square will be as it is. This minus AB will also be as it is. And minus B multiplied by A will be minus AB. And minus B multiplied by minus B will be plus B square, right? So this can be written as A square minus AB minus AB is minus 2ab and then plus b square right and this is the formula of a minus b whole square a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square right so this is a geometrical representation of a minus b whole square